when you first heard these albums, did they did they kind of change the game for you? Absolutely. Bit? I sort of like wrote a little spiel about this. This is like kind of why <laughs> I picked yeah, these two albums. It's like, I remember I was saying it to you um, on at work on Wednesday, Will. Because um, before I like before I'd heard these albums, I was sort of just like just listening to straight up rock and roll, just like Billy Talent, like Arctic Monkeys and Foo Fighters and stuff. Like it's good, like. Mm. fucking sick i love those bands but like i didn't really r- realize that there was like this sort of like new wave of bands that had come through that was doing like all this new cool shit like like emo like mm. just like straight up like pop punk and stuff like that i didn't really like know what that was because i was just sort of stuck in the past listening to like all these bands Older but band. yeah it sort of just like it just did a lot for me because I, I remember i heard um my life is over and i couldn't be happier on triple j for the first time um, and I, I, I like fell in love with it straight away. I was just like, this is sick. And it's like exactly what I needed to hear at the time. And I didn't, mm. I didn't realize I needed to hear it. Mm. Um, same with like Remo Drive. I remember I was on YouTube one day and I, um, it was just like, you know how on YouTube you watch a video and like the, it has like an upcoming next one, like down the bottom, right? Yeah. yeah. It was the music video for You're Killing Me by Remo Drive. And like, I don't even know why I like, I don't even know why I watched it. Like, usually you just, like, piss them off and just be like, oh, I, don't, I don't know what that is. I'm not going to watch it. But I watched it. And I was like, that was sick. Yeah. And, um, yeah. And, yeah, and obviously just, like, fell in love with both of the bands Nothing after there. hearing, like, those two singles. And, yeah, it just sort of exposed me to, like, all these new genres of music, all these new bands, and, like, definitely, like, shaped my music taste for, like, what it is today. Nice. Yeah, that's, nice. That's poetry. Yeah. Well yeah. said. <laughs> no, I was going to I was gonna say pretty much the same, like not the big spiel but same thing kind of open like a whole new area of punk in a way yeah Yeah. totally it was like what unlocked a door to all these other doors Mm. yeah which i'm still opening now too i I love last week even yeah that's it and like like i said before like i love like i owe like a lot of like my music like taste no uh, not taste but maybe just like knowledge of like songwriting and stuff to like billy talent um like I owe a lot to Ian Desar, the guitar player. But like the, you know, like Best they're they're just music. like they're just it's just like straight up like rock, like <laughs> punk. But like as soon as I heard like these new bands, obviously I've discovered like way way more. Um, and yeah, it definitely just like sort of exposed me to the the wider world of mm. like rock, like punk rock and stuff. Mm. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, we're all in the same boat. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, yeah, hundred percent. Sure. I know exactly what I'm saying. You guys are just like, no, you know exactly what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> definitely probably two of the only albums that we all fully agreed on as well. I reckon, like mm, as yeah. a, as this, a band, it was like this a pop album. Yeah, that's like that's w- our band album. If we had to choose yeah. one, I think. Oh, for sure. 